Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be doing my collection video for the summer of 2023. Uh, my collection has grown, I mean that's the point of these videos to show how my collection has grown. Uh, we are well in advance of 400 models in my collection now which is insane. One adjustment I have had to make is because my North American cabinet is getting so full now. Um, I've moved Alaska into the end cabinet on the left um, so they are now in there along with um, my Canadian Airlines and my Icelandic Airlines as well as my retro aircraft as well. Originally that end cabinet was just going to be retro aircraft but because I don't have a massive retro collection I had three spare shelves um, so I've moved my Icelandic aircraft in there. We did that in the last update as well. Uh, they're in there, my Canadian aircraft are in there and now Alaska as well. My Alaska collection has grown and I've also got quite a few um, Alaska aircraft on order um, so now they've got their own shelf where they can have their own dedicated space uh, just for Alaska Airlines and that also gives me more room in my North American cabinets for um, other airlines. We got some Spirit aircraft, some more Southwest aircraft coming in, um, some more JetBlue aircraft as well. Um, so yeah, everything's growing and yeah, with that being said, we're going to start off um, like we usually do with my 1-200 to fighter jet collection. Starting off in my 1-200 to military cabinets, here we have the Russian Tupolev 160 Blackjack Bomber. Next to that we have a new addition to the collection, here we have the Tupolev 95 Bear Bomber. Moving down we then on the left there have the NASA S3 Viking. We have my uh, US Marines V-22 Osprey, my Dassault Mirage 2000, my Dassault Rafale, my single seater Eurofighter Typhoon from the Royal Air Force, my Royal Air Force tandem seater Eurofighter Typhoon. We then have the Royal Air Force Typhoon in the Anarchy 1 color scheme. We then have the Royal Air Force Tornado, the Royal Air Force English Electric Lightning. We then have two um, Legacy FA-18 Hornets. And then after that, we have quite a few of the FA-18 Super Hornets in various um, different color schemes and from different squadrons. They all look really good. Behind them there, we have a Sundowners F5 Tiger II. We then have a Sundowners F4 Phantom. We then have a Sundowners F-14 Tomcat. We have two Aggressor livery um, F-14s. We have an Iranian F-14 and then a regular US Navy F-14. We then have a Libyan MiG-25, the fastest fighter jet in the world. Uh, we have a Vietnamese Su-27, a Russian Su-27, a US Air Force F-15, a Japanese Air Self-Defense Force F-15, a US Air Force F-22 Raptor, and we have two US Air Force A-10 Warthogs. We then have an Iranian F-4 Phantom. We have a regular US Air Force F-16. We have three aggressor livery F-16s. And then finally here we have a Royal Australian Air Force F-35A. I do really like how my um, 1-200 military cabinet looks at the moment. It looks really good, but I am still after quite a few other aircraft. And um, of course, we've got one more large uh, Russian aircraft on the way that will go next to those two other bombers. If you know your Russian aircraft, you probably know what that will end up being. Um, but as fighter jets go, I would love to see some other non-Western fighter jets released. Um, like, for example, the J-20, um, the Su-57, and the Su-34 as well I think they all look really good and they would look really good in this cabinet but as well some other western fighter jets as well um, I want to complete the European Delta Wing set uh, we've got the uh, Typhoon we've got the Rafale I just really want the Gripen that would look really good and then some Harriers as well I would love the British GR9 and the American AV-8B um, and then F-35s uh, we have the F-35A um, but as of now uh, we don't have um, an F-35B or or an F-35C and at the moment there are no molds for either of those so I would love to see them uh, released and as soon as they are released I would love to add them into this collection. Next up moving down to my North American cabinets starting off with American here we have two American Eagle CRJ-200s. We then have two American Eagle ERJ-145s. We have two American Eagle CRJ-700s. We have two American Eagle, CRJ we have the American Eagle Retro Livery in Brea 170. We have two American Eagle Embraer 175s, an American 737 MAX 8. We then have an American 737-800, an American One World 737-800, an A320. We have an A321, we have an A321neo, and a Boeing 757-200. 
Moving down to Delta, on the left there we have a Delta Connection CRJ-200 and on the right a CRJ-700. We have an Embraer 170, a Boeing 717, a McDonnell Douglas MD-90, a Delta A220-100, a 737-800, a 737-900. We have an A319, we then have an A321, and then we have a Boeing 757-200 without winglets and a 757-200 with winglets. Then next, moving down to southwest, here we have on the left a Colorado one 737-700. Well, these are all 737-700, so here we have the Triple Crown one livery. We then have the Missouri one livery. We then next to that have the Louisiana one uh, livery. We then have the Tennessee one livery. We then have the Florida one livery. We have the Illinois one livery. We have the Maryland One Livery. We have the Lone Star One Livery. We then have the California One Livery. Moving down, we then have the Freedom One 737-800, the Hart 737-700. We have two of the older Canyon Blue 737-700s. We have the Desert Gold 737-700. We have a newer mold 737-700 in the Canyon Blue livery. We have the Canyon Blue livery 737-800 with scimitars and the same aircraft without scimitars. We have a Hart 737-800 and we have another one. We have a Hart 737 MAX 8 and then we have another one. Next up, moving down to JetBlue, here we have this JetBlue Airbus A320. We have a JetBlue A321. We have another JetBlue A321. A Spirit A320. We have a Spirit A320 Neo. We have a Spirit A321 and another Spirit A321. Back there we have the Hawaiian 787-9, we have the Hawaiian A330-200, and the Hawaiian A321 Neo. Moving down we then have the Sun Country Older Livery 737-800, we have the Frontier A321, the Frontier A320 Neo, the Frontier A320, the Breeze Embraer 195, and finally the Breeze A220-300. Next up, moving on to United, starting off here with the new liveries. Uh, here we have both her out here livery 757-200. On the left we have the California livery, and on the right we have the New York livery. We then have three Embraer 175s. We have three CRJ-550s. We then have five CRJ-200s. We then have six United um, Airbus A319s. Uh, we then have this Boeing 757-200. We then have two 737 MAX 8s. Uh, we have three 737 900 ERs, uh, two Star Alliance livery 737 800s, and five regular livery 737 800s. Moving down to the older livery aircraft now, we have two 8 uh, 200s. Uh, we then have two Embraer 170s. Uh, we then have two Embraer 175s. Uh, we then have two Airbus A320s. Uh, we have two 737 800s. Uh, we then have a 737-900, a 737-900 in the Eco Skies livery, a 737 MAX 9. We then have a 757-200, a 757-300, a 767-300. We then have a 787-8, a 787-10, a 777-200 and a 777-300. Then moving down to the new livery wide bodies, here we have a 787-9. Uh, we then have another 787-9, we have a 787-10 and another 787-10. Uh, then moving back we have two 767-300s, uh, we have a 777-200 and another one. Uh, we then have the 777-300 and then moving down to some of my special livery and 1-200 to aircraft. Uh, starting off here we have the Stars and Bars Boeing 727. Uh, after that, we then have the Blue Tulip Embraer 170. After that, we have the Star Wars livery 737-800. Uh, the Star Alliance livery uh, 777-200. And finally, of course, the Queen of the Skies, the Boeing 747-400. As I've mentioned before, I would love for this area down here to become almost like a small United Heritage area. Um, I want to get some more 1 to 200 United models um, of various different liveries United have had in the past. Um, I would love a new livery, ERJ145 with the winglets. I think the aircraft just looks really, really nice. Um, and then some older livery aircraft as 
as well, like the Solbass and Battleship Grey liveries. Um, I don't really care what aircraft. Um, those would be on probably some smaller aircraft, not wide bodies, some narrow bodies. Um, maybe some 1 to 400 wide bodies, uh, like the Blue Tulip 747, that would look really cool. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just kind of waiting for some different models to be released because I'm not going to look back and go for older models. I'm only going to buy models that are released in the future to go down here. So I'm kind of just waiting to see what's released. Next up here in my 1 to 400 military cabinets, here we have a San Antonio based C5 Super Galaxy. Uh, we have a Dover based C5. We then have a Royal Air Force C-17. Behind that we have a Royal Canadian Air Force C-17, a US Air Force Dover C-17, and a NATO C-17 as well. Moving down, here we have a Chinese Y-20. Uh, behind that we have a North Korean IL-76. Uh, we have a Chinese IL-76. Uh, we have a Royal Air Force A-400M, a Luftwaffe A-400M, we then have a French A400M, we have a US Air Force C-130, we have a Japanese Air Self-Defense Force C-130, a Royal Netherlands Air Force C-130, a Royal Air Force C-130, a US Coast Guard C-130, a Blue Angels C-130, and then the US Air Force Ski Bird C-130. Moving down to some transport aircraft now, here we have the Japanese Air Force One. Uh, we then have a US Air Force E-4B Doomsday Plane, uh, we then have the U.S. Air Force VC-25, the U.S. Air Force C-32, the Royal Air Force A330 MRTT in the Vespina color scheme. Moving back, we then have the German government A350-900, the Turkish government A330-200, the French government A330-200, the French Air Force A330 MRTT, um, and then we have the Royal Air Force um, A330 MRTT as well. Moving down, we then have a couple P-8 Poseidons. On the left there, we have a Royal Air Force P-8 Poseidon, and on the right, we have a US Navy P-8 Poseidon. In the back there, we have a Royal Air Force VC-10. We have a Royal Air Force Bristol Britannia. We then have a Royal Air Force de Havilland Comet C-4. Uh, we then have an Arizona uh, KC-135. We then have a North Carolina KC-135 and a Hawaiian KC-135 as well. Back here we have a Russian IL-96. Uh, we then have a Royal New Zealand Air Force 757-200 and an Omega tanker Boeing 707. Moving down, here we have of course the US Air Force B-52. Next to that we then have an Ellsworth B-1, a Dias B-1, and then, of course, we have the B-2 Spirit. And next up here, we have two British Airways Boeing 737-200s. On the left, we have the German Stern Teller livery. And on the right, we have the Botswanian Animals and Trees livery. Uh, moving on to the Boeing 757-200s, here we have the English Chelsea Rose livery. We then have the Scottish Tartan livery and another English Blue Pool livery. Moving back to some of the retro 747-400 liveries, here we have the Landor livery, uh, followed by the Nagus livery and of course the BOAC livery. Moving down to some Project Utopia 747-400s now, here we have the British Asia Airways um, English Chelsea Rose livery, we have again the Scottish Tartan livery, uh, we have the Delft Blue Daybreak uh, Netherlands livery, we have one of the South African liveries, uh, we then have the Wunala Dreaming Australian livery, uh, followed by the Nalanji Dreaming Australian livery, and then finishing off here with the Hong Kong um, Rendezvous livery. Then moving down to one of my favorite models, here we have the Gulf Air L-1011, followed by the American 757-200 in the Chrome One World livery, followed by the regular Chrome 757-200, and then the MD-83. Next to that, we have a British Airways Boeing 777-200 in, again, the English Chelsea Rose livery. Behind that, we have the TWA uh, 747SP, the Pan Am 747SP, the United Solbass 747SP, and the Qantas. 747SP as well. Then next moving down to my Icelandic shelf, here we have the Iceland Air 737 MAX 8, followed by the 757-200, the Retro 757-200, the Hecla Aurora uh, 757-200, the 80th Anniversary Livery um, 757-200, and the 100 Years of Independence for Iceland Livery 757-300. Moving back, we then have a WOW Air um, Airbus A321neo, a Play Airbus A321neo, 
Neo and a Play Airbus A320 Neo. Moving down to the Canadian Airlines, here we have a Porter Dash 8Q400, an Air Canada Express CRJ 200, a CRJ 900, an Embraer 175, an A220 300, a 737 MAX 8, an Airbus A321, an Air Canada Rouge A321, and a WestJet 737 800. And then moving down finally to Alaska, here we have the Alaska Embraer 175. Uh, we then have the Alaska regular livery Boeing 737-800, the Salmon 30 Salmon livery 737-800, we then have the Honoring Those Who Serve 737-800, the regular livery 737-900, the Education Change the World 739, and then moving back to the Airbus aircraft, uh, on the left there we have the A320, the A321neo and the Mortar Love A321neo as well. Then here in my European cabinets, here we have the Air France A340-300, the Air France A350-900, we then have the 777-200ER, and then we have the 777-300ER as well. Moving down to Lufthansa, here we have the Airbus A330-300, we then have the Airbus A340-300, we then have the 787-9, and then we have the Airbus A350-900. Moving back, we then have the Airbus A340-600, the older livery 747-400, the new livery 747-400, and the 747-8i. Moving down, uh, we then in the back here have the KLM Airbus A330-300, uh, we then have the KLM 787-9, we have the Turkish 787-9, and the Turkish Airbus A330-200, we then have the Austrian Boeing 767 we have the Austrian 777-200, we then have the Iberia Airbus A350-900 and the Scandinavian A350-900. Moving down in the back we have the TAP Portugal A330-200, the Alitalia A330-200, the Brussels Airlines A330-300, the Aeroflot A330-300. Moving forward we have the Swiss A330-300, the Condor A330-300, 900 and then we have the Norse 787-9. And then after that, moving down, here we have the LL 747-400. We have the 1990s livery Aer Lingus A330-300. Um, then we have the slightly newer but also old livery A330-200 from Aer Lingus. And we have the new Aer Lingus livery A330-300. We then have the A321neo. And then we have the Aer Lingus or Emerald Airways ATR-72. Then next up, moving over to my Africa and Asia cabinets, here we have the Egypt Air 787-9, the South African A330-300, the South African A350-900, and the South African A340-600. Then moving down, we have the Royal Emeroc 787-8 in the old livery, the Royal Emeroc 787-8 in the new One World livery, and the Royal Emeroc 787-9 in the new livery as well. Here we have the Ethiopian 787-9, the Ethiopian 787-8, and the Ethiopian 777-200LR. And then moving down to a lot of triple threes, here we have the Air China triple three, we have the Qatar One World triple three, we have the Qatar One World A350-900, we then have the Qatar regular livery A350-900, we have the Emirates A380, the Emirates triple three, the Saudi Arabian triple three, and the Air India triple three. Then here we have the Cafe Pacific A350-1000, the Korean Air triple three, we have the Korean Air 787-9, the Vietnamese 787 7-9, we have the Air New Zealand 747-400, the Air New Zealand 787-9, we have the Etihad 787-9, and then we have the Air Corio IL-62 on the right and the Air Corio Tupolev 204 on the left. Then moving down to some Japanese airlines now, uh, here we have the JAL or Japanese Airlines 787-9, uh, then we have the ANA R2D2 livery 787-9, uh, we have the ANA 777-200, the ANA 777-300 and then moving down here we have uh, the three ANA A380s in the blue livery, 
the green livery, and of course the orange livery. Then moving on to essentially my miscellaneous cabinets, here we have my Aramex Co 737-800, we then have my Copa 737-800 without scimitars, we then have my Copa 737-800 with scimitars, we then have the Valaris A320 Neo, we then have the Avianca A321 Neo, and the Avianca A330-200. Then moving down to some of my interactive series 747-8s, uh, here we have the Cargolux Mask Livery 748, we then have the regular Cargolux 748, the Polar DHL 748, the Atlas 748, the UPS 748, and the Airbridge Cargo or ABC Cargo uh, 747-8. Moving down, we then have the Atlas Air 767-300, we have the UPS MD-11, and of course the Antonov 225. Then moving down, here we have my Jeremy Clarkson livery DHL 757-200. Uh, then in this spot, so this would be the spot where my James May livery aircraft will go. Um, that is currently broken, but I am still working on fixing that, and that will go here eventually, but this will be where the uh, James May livery DHL 757 will go. We then have a regular uh, with winglet 757-200 from DHL. Uh, we then have the FedEx 757-200, the FedEx 767-300, and the UPS 767-300 as well. Then next down here we have my Alaska Air Cargo aircraft. Here we have the 737-400, the 737-700. We then have the AeroSecure Columbia 727. We have the Boeing Business Jet 737-700, the Four Seasons Boeing 752, the La Campagne 752, the National Geographic 752, and finally here we have the Omni Air 752 as well. Moving into my British Airways cabinets, starting off here we have of course at the top the Airbus A319, below that we have the British Airways Cityfly Embraer 170 and the A321. We then have the 757-200, the 767-300, the A350-1000, we then have the A380, and then moving forward, we have the 777-300ER. We then have the 777-200ER. We have another NG 777-200ER. We have the 787-10, the Dash 9, and of course the Dash 8. Moving down to some of my 1 to 200 aircraft, here we have the Concorde, uh, looking amazing. We have the British Airways Chinook in the back there. Uh, we have the British Airways Embraer 170. We have the British Airways Twin Otter. Moving to some of the 1 to 400 747s, uh, we have three of these regular 747s, and then we have a One World Livery 747 as well. Uh, we then have three uh, British Airways Concords, all with separate registrations. They all look amazing. And then, of course, here we have the 1 to 200 A380. Moving down, we have my Virgin Atlantic collection. We have the A350 1000. Uh, we then have the 747-400, the A330-300, uh, we have the A330-900, and the 787-9. And then finishing off here in this cabinet, we have of course the giant 1-200 Antonov 225. Then moving on to my shelf here, we have the 1-200 British European Airways livery A319. We then have the British Airways BOAC livery 747-400. We then have the BMI British Midlands A319. Uh, moving up, we then have the British Airways Nagus livery 747. We have the um, A321 Neo from the Royal Air Force. Uh, we then have the British Airways Landor livery 747-400. Uh, we then have the British Airways um, Airbus A320 Neo and the Chatham Dockyard livery 747-400. Uh, moving down, we have the uh, Royal Air Force A330 MRTT. We then have one of the Nike G550s, and we have another one of the Nike G550s as well. And just like that, that concludes my collection update for summer 2023. I will be back with another one of these um, around November time for my winter update. Um, but until then, or until my next video, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.